Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program, where as usual I am a complete and utter moron. We discovered at the tail end of the last episode that our repair craft that we're sending up to repair a satellite that we have a contract for is in fact in need of repairs itself. Reason being, we uh, didn't have a solar panel on it. So yeah, that's the thing. Let's go ahead and redesign this a little bit, and we're going to use pretty much this same craft. I mean, are we going to try to re-enter anything here? This is really cheap, right? So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to reroute this. We'll make the remote guidance unit be the route. We're going to remove the SRBs. I don't think those are required. We're going to remove the command pod. That is also not required. We are going to remove everything down below here, including the heat shield. Just like that. This should be more than enough Delta V to get us where we need to go. Absolutely no problem in that respect. We also know that this was too stable before, and yeah, it's going to continue to be pretty stable here. We're just going to move this up to be, I don't know, maybe around, well... As we burn this fuel, we should see the center of mass moving up, right? So maybe we should place it right around here, or maybe just let it go on its own. I mean, look at how cheap this is. It's super cheap. So what we're going to do here is I think we're just going to put an aerodynamic nose cone on the top. We'll need this guy, I think. Nope, the next size up, which is... That's way too big. This one? Nope, that's still way too big. Uh, which nose cone is it that we need? This guy? That's too big as well. Very small and tiny nose cones. This guy. Okay, there we go. Fantastic. I think we should be fine on the aerodynamics, is my guess here. This isn't a very tall rocket, and we're not going to need these strut connectors. Get rid of those. Excellent. And we are going to need some power generation on here, and I'm just going to do a pair of 3x2s. And the idea here is that we are going to grab both of those off of here with our engineer and then deorbit this. I like the, uh, the origin point of the aerodynamic overlay. That's pretty nice. Okay, so we're just going to launch this, and we need to target a bit higher of an orbit so that we can intercept fairly simply. So what kind of an orbit are we going to target? Maybe around 200 kilometers, I think. Oh, hello. Here we are in 4K. Very, very soon now. We're going to be able to do these videos in full 4K, but if you take a look at that frame rate... It's marginal, I would say. <laughs> but very soon now, we'll be able to upgrade. For now, we're back in 1080, and we are going to launch this. I'm just going to combine these stages together. Excellent. And up we go. We shouldn't have any aerodynamics issues. We're going to probably throttle down for max Q here. Well, actually, our thrust weight isn't all that high. Not yet, anyway. Fascinating. Okay, we are hitting 100 meters per second, so we're going to go ahead and start tipping on over. I can definitely tell that we don't have the stabilization that I'm used to from the tail fins, but this is definitely making it a little cheaper. I'm going to throttle down here as we continue to pass through max Q. But we have to remember, basically all of our attitude control is from our gimbling. And that's okay. So we're just going to continue to head on up here. We are passing through max Q, and I'm continuing to throttle down a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and throttle back up now. And we are going to get some atmospheric effects here. There's no doubt about that one. And what is our overall apoapsis looking like? We don't have a KER on this, not that we need one. Uh, we're just going to check here, 22 kilometers. And I know that there is a way to check in here as well, but I don't actually want to change this mode at this exact moment. Okay, so at this point, we're just going to lock to prograde and we'll hold here. 
Wonderful. 40 kilometers of altitude here. I'm going to throttle us down here. Just because I'm not really liking the plasma that we're seeing. 50 kilometers, again we're aiming for like 200. We are probably not going to make it on this stage alone. And that's okay. We do not have to. 60 kilometers. And let's just go ahead and throttle up to full. And stage separation. Excellent. 85. We're just going to continue burning prograde here for now. Until we push our apoapsis up high enough. Which shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, we've got a lot of burn time here. That said, maybe we should just continue to wait until we are out of the atmosphere here, where it'll be much more efficient with this vacuum-optimized engine. We should also extend our solar panels here in a moment. And I'm just going to physics warp until we're out of the atmosphere here. There we go. We're going to extend our solar panels before we forget. And at this point, we're just going to burn prograde. And, like I said, bring this up to 120, or rather 200 kilometers is what I said. So somewhere around there. That'll do. And then we will just go ahead and circularize this. That shouldn't take too much DV. Yeah, that's not too bad. We've got a lot of DV left over in this. As expected, this is an extremely light payload. As in... These photovoltaic panels are our payload. <laughs> Everything else here is just to get them there. So that is wonderful. We will go ahead and lock to that maneuver node. How much power do we have totally available? 15 electric charge. That's not a lot. We're going to warp over here and see how quickly that charge drains. Very is the answer. Luckily, we've got enough. We have enough. So we're going to warp forward to T minus six seconds here. And we're going to burn this now. Now, of course, we don't have any additional power here, and that's fine. We can do all of our maneuvers in theory in the light side. There we go. Our periapsis is rising on up. And we're just going to do something like that. There we go. We'll save that extra 0.9 meters per second. That is close enough. We'll set this as our target. Our ascending node will be over here. And it's 0 0.7 degrees. That's not too far off. So this is, of course, the ascending node. So we want to do this. That's only 25.2 meters per second. We'll align to that maneuver node and then warp over to here. Yeah, we're probably going to run out of electric charge by the time we get there. Yes, indeed we are. It'll come back in a moment. And there's our electric charge back. And let's just warp forward a little bit here. Alter our inclination to be around... Something like that. Should be good enough. Yes, indeed. And let's see what an intercept would look like at the descending node. I don't necessarily want it over here, though, so let's actually see what it would look like somewhere over here instead. I would really like our intercept to be on the day side. That timing is, shall we say, non-great. Very non-great. Now, the quote-unquote correct way to do this would be to raise up our orbit longer or raise up our orbit further, we could do that. We could definitely do that. Let's raise our orbit up to, say, 400 kilometers. That's not going to be a big deal. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and warp to here. It's not like we're going to be short on fuel on this mission, so I'm just going to do it the easy way. We'll raise up our orbit a pretty sizable amount and then get our intercept done. Hopefully on the correct size. So we're going to flip around to prograde here and raise up our periapsis to the roughly same 400 kilometers. And there we go. Good enough. Good enough. And let's just see if we were to burn here, 
which is kind of the soonest we want to. How close would we be? Fairly, but we'd be intercepting close to the dark side. This is much, much better. This is much better. That's a 25 kilometer separation. We can tweak that to be four kilometers. Yeah, I'm seeing four kilometers there. 3.6. Yeah, that's not really helping at all. 3.6 kilometers is the closest I'm seeing there. We can probably tune it a little closer with timing. But I think that'll do. We should have plenty of time in the light side, so that's wonderful. The real question is, how are we going to burn there? The answer is we are going to go into hibernation here. We're going to align to this maneuver node. We're going to turn our SAS off and we're going to warp over there this is all to conserve electric charge while we're on the dark side of the world here you can see here we are not using much electric charge at all okay so now we're going to do sas on hibernation is going to come off in a moment here we're warping towards this t minus three seconds and okay, we're going to come out of hibernation now and like I said, T minus three seconds. We're going to burn this now. And we should, of course, be on the maneuver node. Call that good enough. How's our intercept looking? Separation of 3.5 kilometers. That'll do. So now we're going to go to target retrograde here. Did we launch something retrograde? No, it's just that this is on the wrong side, right? Maybe. I'm very confused by that speed differential, but we'll see what's going on with that. It is coming down as we approach here. Okay, this is getting more more like what I was expecting. So it's, it's just, I guess, the relative speed because we were going this way, but this is coming this way. F fair enough. That's fine. That's fine. So we want to go to target retrograde here. And where exactly is our target right now? I don't know, but we're getting some lag there. Okay, we're only about 10 kilometers out. Our closest separation is going to be 3.5 kilometers, relative speed of about 194 meters per second. Yes, this is more like what I expected. <laughs> That's completely fine. So we are going to go ahead and wait for this to come a little closer. What is our time to reach around here? Seven minutes. Okay, so that's kind of our window to do this in. That should be enough time. I'm going to go ahead and retract this solar panel. But we're waiting until about 3.8 maybe. Okay. Let's kill this relative speed. Close enough. Let's point to target. And let's do... Actually, we can just plot an intercept here. But I want to do this. Okay. That's about the closest we're going to get is one kilometer. It's not exactly what I would have liked. But it'll do. So we'll go ahead and warp here. And then we're going to need to flip to target retrograde as soon as we can. We can see that we are getting further away. So let's just go ahead and kill this relative speed. Whoa. Flip to target retrograde. Thank you very much. That's definitely very sensitive. Good to know. But we are getting closer now. Intercept of 2.1 kilometers apparently, but I don't think that's accurate. Considering that we are currently getting closer... Okay, let's kill this relative speed, and let's burn towards target, 
And yeah, I'm aware that our intersect is going to be going into the dark side here. I think we'll be okay. We're, go we're going to close in at somewhere around 10 meters per second for right now. And then we're going to flip to target retrograde. 0, 0.0 kilometers. That looks good, and that's right at the Terminator. I like it. We're going to have a little extra time there. That's perfect. This is all we need. So we're just going to get a little bit closer here. I'm just going to warp us in. Yep, here comes the Terminator. Okay. So it's passing below us now. I'm going to go ahead and kill our relative speed. And we're going to burn slightly towards the target a little bit more. Not very quickly. Not very quickly at all. About 3 meters per second. We're going to flip around to retrograde. And we're going to put this into hibernation as soon as we can. Well, actually not yet. Not yet. We're just drifting on closer. And this is good. This is absolutely fine. You know what? We never did the spacewalk, did we? Ah, the spacewalk at Eve. Uh, no, we haven't done that yet because we haven't done the refuel. <laughs> I'm dumb. Okay, so we're just going to flip this on around back towards target. Or rather, wherever our, wherever our retrograde went, it just kind of disappeared. I'm assuming it's somewhere over here. Okay. I'm going to thrust limit this substantially. And we're just going to hold here. And match these speeds as exactly as possible. There. Okay. Now we're going to switchcraft. Johan is going to EVA. And he is going to hop into this mode. We're going to grab this solar panel and attach it, say, here. And this solar panel and attach it, say, here. Excellent. And Johan will then hop in. Uh, apparently we're doing a bit of docking here. Exciting stuff. But we're going to grab this, get a little bit of distance here. I'm going to unthrust limit this. There we go. Let's switch back here. SES on. Let's make sure that this push didn't push us into the atmosphere. It did not. Fantastic. And as far as this goes, we're just going to burn this retrograde. We have very limited power. We're just going to deorbit this. Okay. So we're going to do something along the lines of that. So this will deorbit, and we're kind of hoping that it burns up in the atmosphere, but it'll probably impact the ground and go boom, and that's completely fine. Now our solar panels are here. They're slightly cockeyed. Let's actually fix that. Johan, hop on out. And I want you to align this solar panel like that. There, that's much better. Okay, so now we need to head out where? This is in orbit of Minmus, right? Yeah, so we need to head out to Minmus. So, Minmus will of course be our target here. We should have plenty of Delta V to make this happen in theory. So we're hitting the ascending node right now, so we want to burn anti-normal. And we're going to do so. And we'll just match planes. Two more degrees to burn here. One more degree. Half a degree. Good enough. Okay, so where is Minmus? Okay, so we'll launch off to Minmus somewhere around the Terminator, looks like. How's that looking? Not too bad. Is this the aging satellite? It is, so let's just go ahead and back this off a little bit and get a minimal encounter. If I can actually edit this. Hello, maneuver node. Maneuver node. Hello. <laughs> I'm having a hard time grabbing this maneuver node. There we go. Okay. 
So with the maneuver node grabbed, we will head back over here and hopefully now we can grab it again. No, we absolutely cannot. Hello, maneuver node. There we go. Okay, so with that, we want a minimal encounter here. So we're going to attempt to bring that on back. About like this. That's roughly a minimal encounter. And with that, we'll be able to match planes. No problem. Okay. So we will align to that. And that is, of course, in 10 minutes. We'll go ahead and warp to it. Wonderful. And this is going to be a minute and 20 second burn. So we want to burn this at T minus 40 seconds. And so we will go ahead and warp towards that. Okay, let's burn this now. So this is going to burn out this stage, but that's okay. This stage was intended to be our orbital stage. And we did achieve orbit with it. And then our maneuver stage will take over from there. Thrust to weight is not the highest, but that's okay. This stage will get us most of the way to Minmus, and then this will do our maneuverings and return us, is the idea. If we have to do some sort of wacky refueling, we can do that. So we've got about five seconds left in this burn. And off we go. Fantastic. About another 40 seconds left overall here. We've got lots of DV to make this happen. I don't think we have any issues whatsoever here. This is, after all, just a min -miss trip, and there's no monoprop in here, but from what I can tell, we don't need any monoprop in here. That would have just been dead weight. 200 more meters per second in this burn. Fantastic. It's amazing how little pushes it from here to here. Gotta love exponentials, eh? <laughs> 80 meters per second in the burn. Awkward moon encounter is awkward. About another two meters per second here. There. Good enough. Good enough. So at this periapsis, we are going to do a minimal breaking burn. And a minimal breaking burn looks like that. About 200 more meters per second. Fine. Then, of course, we're going to want to match planes with this satellite, which shouldn't be too, too bad. Uh, let's see here. We're going this way. I don't think we're going to be retrograde. But we'll just go ahead and align for this. That's, of course, going to be in seven days. We'll warp to that. Goodbye, Kerbin. We will be back. And we're getting some science in from Eve. Fantastic. That will continue to trickle in over the next little while. And here we are at Minmus. This is going to be T minus 10 seconds that we want to burn this. So we'll burn it now. Once again, we are looking for a minimal orbit here. So another eight seconds left in this burn. And this is the largest Delta V remainer, I think, that we're going to have left for a while anyway. So now let's try to match planes with this satellite. In fact, we could just set as target. We don't need to do it this way. And at the descending node, that's going to be 132.6 degrees. And that is, of course, the descending node. So we want to burn normal in theory. But we're going to need some retrograde in there as well. Because as you can see, that's pushing us back out. So we're going to bring it in something along the lines of this. And that's retrograde doing the trick. And then we probably want some anti-normal in there. Yeah. Okay. So anti-normal pulls us back like so. 9.7 degrees. 2, 1... And, okay, we'll call that good and see about tweaking it this way a little bit. Hmm. I mean, this is a really, really awkward orbit for sure. 
It's only 0.4 degrees off. 0.2. Retrograde is bringing it up. Prograde is bringing it up. Yeah, I think that's the best we can do, except for if we were to alter the timing. 0.1 degrees. I mean, that's probably close enough, right? I think that's close enough. And then we can tweak the actual orbital characteristics from there. So this is, of course, a fairly complex burn. We're going to go ahead and, burn and warp to that. And we'll just get in plane here, approximately, anyway. It's very close to being in plane. And then we'll be able to plot our intercept very easily from this orbit. This is a pretty good orbit to intercept with, actually. So this is going to be T minus two seconds that we need to burn this. And we'll go ahead and do so. And we'll burn it right now. Okay. That'll do. So we could tweak our descending node, but I ultimately don't think that's necessary. Let's just go ahead and get ourselves a quick intercept here. So what would it end up looking like? Hello, that's actually non-awful there. So we would need to do something perhaps along the lines of this. That's an intersection of 21.6 kilometers. I saw 10 kilometers. Nine. Eight. That's still eight kilometers, 8.1. Okay, so let's just anchor that open, see if we can get that to 0.0, .0 degrees with this burn. The answer is no. I think 8 kilometers might be the best that we can get here. Okay, now I'm going to have to try to get it back to 8 kilometers. That's going to be interesting. I'm adjusting the DPI on my mouse so that I can hopefully get this a little bit better. There it is. 8 kilometers. Okay, so we can just do a get closer burn from there. That's not the end of the world. Match planes with it, get closer, or rather, match speeds with it, get closer. What's the relative speed going to be? 6.1 meters per second. Okay, yeah, this is no problem. It is, however, time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we will effect repairs on that satellite. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and I will see you all next time.